Are you kidding me? Huh? Wow. I don't mind when I dream that I've been scalded by steam, but I tried not to dream about you. you Hi guys, welcome back to Contrast. What is that? Windmills? No, I mean, well, I don't know what you call them. But never mind. What was that? Oh, another science picture about shadows, I think. Right? So, someone's into shadows? When you look at them, they represent something else? Oh, I can have open this door. That's probably gonna come in handy. And this one. We're back outside. We need to get up there. Where Didi went. Let's see. All the doors are open now. Oh. Yeah. Shadows. Really? I I can't believe it. I just freaking can't believe it. It's um something weird going on. I, I and seriously, seriously, I can't. I can't. Oh now I see. <laughs> it's not. It's not the game. It's me, not noticing the pillars again. Something. Can I jump past them? I should be able to, right? There we go. Wow. There we go. And. There. Uh, whoa! I I I totally meant to do that. <laughs> Illusionist goes dark, but the lights are still on. Fans of the Unreal have been have long been waiting for the amazing Vincenzo to come to Glastonbury early this spring. The Stroke Theater announced the string. Uh, Ten performances by the increasingly famous illusionist this July. Unfortunately, rather than making things disappear and reappear, as is his wont, the Strode has announced that the young magician will not be appearing at all. No reason was given by the Strode or by representatives of Maestro Vincenzo. Friday, July the 1st, which year though? <laughs> Fortunately, there are still numerous performances of the amazing and fantastical about town. Really? The Cirque Lafayette has rigged its, its big top in the ruins of the Abbey. The Abbey? The ruins. Promising acrobats, dancing bears, and a variety of amusing and alarming freaks. Right, okay. So, why Vincenzo? Why did you cancel or What are you doing here? Who are you? How did you get in? Through the big clock? You went through the clockwork? How? Who are you with? It's a puzzle, right? It's meant to keep strangers out. It's a very good puzzle. Not good enough, <laughs> apparently. But I'm not a stranger. I'm Dee Dee. Dee Melancaya. Oh. Your mother put you up to this, didn't she? She thinks I'm doing my homework. I wanted to meet you. I didn't ask for a child, all right? You didn't want a child? What would I do with one? Hmm? I'm a busy man. My apparatuses are precise. They take months to hone. H how would I have the time? That is what I told her. I'm sorry. I travel. I'm going on tour for six months. Budapest, Istanbul, Calcutta, Shanghai. I dine out with dukes and gangsters. But, but I could help you with your apparatuses. I'm good with puzzles. You could train me. I won't be any trouble. You broke my left-handed induction coil. That took me a week to tune. I'm sorry. I told your mother all of this years ago. What is her phone number? <laughs> okay, see? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I can't have. Your mother cried every week. 
You're better off with Kat. A little girl should be with her mother. Okay. All right. Do you want to come to see my show? No! <laughs> well, here's two tickets in case you change your mind. Okay. Let's get Kat on the phone, hmm? So, something's up with the shadows lately. Um, they used to be, I, I never noticed them breaking up, but they are. It's like a puppet, you know, with limbs that are not completely joined. That's what it looks like. And it's, it wasn't like that at first. All right, back to the stage we go. Poor Dee Dee. You're better off with Johnny. Um, I can't... I just said that, but, you know. Okay. What do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm not one of those secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Wow. Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just needed... Just wanted... And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal! Uh-oh. I knew it! Not I knew again. this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it, I got it. They're getting antsy. They're gonna want their money back. If you give them their money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I just gotta go find a spare ball. Fuse, something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this right. one, too. <laughs> yeah, Dee Dee, not everyone is as smart as you are, but, hmm. you know? So, the lighthouse. All right, people are screaming, so we need to hurry, I think. Um, wow. This is a, this is a lighthouse? I mean, seriously, for what? <laughs> Flying ships, stars, comets. All right, get to the lighthouse, we're here. Now what? This is a weird lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? Must it be. It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. It does? Well, maybe you see things I don't... I but... think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it. Right. You're a fixer-upper, Didi. Oh. Right, in we go. Now what? Uh, a crate. Um, right. And another one. And something to push, a button to push. <laughs> What's that? Uh, something to shine a light on, I think. Let's see. Right, um, but how is that helping? It goes around and up, and there is a potential shadow. Huh, really? Up there? Is it gonna go and stop there, or what? No, it's... Oh, hang on, there's a walkway over there, isn't it? So, we've got a pressure plate here, and hmm, we make a shadow, I guess, is what we do. Oh, wait, what? Come on. Yeah, it, exactly, when I hit that one, it will, so I can move it away. Wait a second. Can I move 
the crate as a shadow up there. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's go find out. That's such a good idea. That's so that's such a cool idea. I can't believe I'm still amazed at this game. It's so clever. Let's see. Um uh, Wow. Which way though? Over there. And now that is so cool so cool do I want to put it back yeah I think so I need that light up there now let's see perfect and the other crate goes where is there another one yeah over there so I need to get the crate over to that area okay shouldn't be a problem right um, with my awesome skills right um, get it come on quickly I can do it see this is how it's supposed to be done done <laughs> Um, or maybe I should just play myself. Now, where do I jump down? That's, um, that I, uh, somewhere that I won't just fall into the abyss. There we go. Back up we go. This is gonna be so cool. I, I can't wait to see how this tower lighthouse looks inside. We're inside it, but this can't be all, right? This is just the basement, or uh, what? Who's been circling in the shadow? Picture of a girl's shadow beside a woman walking down the sidewalk. Wow. Oh, and uh, and who's um? Is it Vinc Vincenzo being interested in this? The shadow things. He should be. He he has uh, got a shadow. Well, actually, probably not. I don't know if they're really shadows or what they're supposed to be. Are we... I mean, if they're not dead, are we in different worlds? Is that it? Another dimension or something? So, anything? No. Okay, up we go. Okay, that's where we came from. We got something to switch on. And lecture by Dr. William James, professor of psychology at Harvard University. Um, the astronomically visible universe is but one possibility. Right. Other universes may exist that parallel our own. The set of all possible universes is the multiverse. What significance is, what significance does the multiverse hold for epistemology and eschatology? What? Never mind. Do new universes spring into existence as a consequence of free will? Can entities cross over between parallel universes? Really? Um, are you saying we're in a different universe? Parallel uni universe. Hang on. Ilyes Ilyescu family tree. We've got... Admitted to St. Mary's Asylum. Who? Elena Popola. Uh-huh. And who are you? He is... Philip, Philip, married Giuseppina, Vincenzo, what's this, Iliescu, Catherine, uh, oh, Cat, and Didi, question mark, 
why and there's um, a question mark there as well so what's going on and we've got a lady there that's uh, Didi's grandma and then her great grandparents and her, gra her granddad up there who his name is what? Horaya? Ho ho I, I, I can't... I don't know. Received exorcism? Really? And admitted to another asylum? Who? That one up there. So they've got some... Did you start way back up there? Great. Great, 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 great grandfather of Didi? Who started it all? I mean, investigating the parallel universe thingies. But how does that relate to shadows? Missing illusionist sought in affair of missing assistant? Illusionist? Wow, really? Scotland Yard is searching for noted illusionist Mr. Arthur Iliascu in connection with the disappearance of his magician's assistant, Miss Aurora Rose, late of Chipping Norton. Miss Rose was last seen on stage at the Baker Street Theatre during Mr. Iliascu's famous illusion act. Mr. Ielescu is well known for making his pretty assistants disappear and reappear. On the evening of October 28th, however, he neglected to fulfill the second part of his act. Detained by police, Mr. Ielescu proclaimed his own bafflement at Miss Rose's failure to return to stage per modus operandi. She's supposed to vanish into thin air, stated Mr. Iliescu, but she's supposed to come back. Police Inspector Giles Lestrade, Lestrade determined no sign of foul play. Indeed, police found no sign whatsoever of the continued physical existence of Miss Rose in this mortal plane. What? And how are they that advanced when it comes to knowing if people are still in <laughs> in this mortal plane. I don't know. Maybe they're just saying they can't find any physical evidence of her being alive. I, I don't know. But they're not saying they found her body, so something is weird with the wording. Mr. Iliescu was released from custody on Thursday. Now it would appear that he too was gone, has gone missing. Oh. Mr. Iliescu's performances at the Baker Street had been cancelled, and Mr. Iliescu's hotel, the Blackstone, has not seen him since shortly after his release. His belongings remain in his room, and mysteriously, the maids report that some of his clothes have been displaced by a party of, by a party or parties unknown. Persons in possession of information in regards to the whereabouts of Mr. Iliescu or of Miss Rose are requested to inform the yard. His name was Arthur? Arthur? Arthur. That's very Norwegian. <laughs> Not Arthur, but Arthur. Arthur. Iliescu. It's a, it's a weird co combination of... So where's Ar Arthur is? Or Arthur, I should say. Um... Wait, it ju he's just called Vincenzo, so that's not him. Where is he on this? He's not here, is he? A mystery. Where is he? I mean, he's definitely... <laughs> Probably, maybe related to these guys, it would make sense, right? But where is he? 
Am I missing something? Did he change his name? Is it Vincenzo? But he's not missing. Ari... What? Is that Arthur? Okay, never mind. We will... I'm just interested in, in finding out who's in this plane. Who's... Who's here or not? Just, just wondering, you know? Oh! Come on. No! No. I need to be quick. Yeah. Okay, one more time. No? Did I turn it off? That's weird. Let's try again. Probably did. There we go. Whoops. Don't fall down. Another one. What's on the wall? Shadows. Definitely connected. And... What's this? Picture depicting the shadow dimensions effect on this... Uh, on world? What? So the upper picture is showing a car and a woman walking the street and driving, I think. And then on the next one, there's another type of car. No shadows. And... Well... Is that a shadow on the left, right side there? No. It, yes, it looks like it, actually. But who's standing there? Who's that person that on the upper, the top picture? Someone watching the shadows? Well, I'm not gonna put too much into that because... Ah, it's gonna be too long. <laughs> okay, what's going on? We've got another one of these. Two, actually. And... More shadows. Skeleton shadows, actually. That one as well. Really? No, maybe I didn't get it. Yes, I actually... I'm pressing the wrong freaking button. <laughs> so, what did I get now? More shadows. So... Is there science behind that? Are we... Mm. Right. Let's see. We've got shadows. Let's... oops. Really? No. Wait. No, I can't go there. Not getting through there. This is gonna be hard. I... I just know it. I just know it. If I not... can't... I can't... <laughs> I can't do this quick enough. And I should be on top of them. Yeah. Oh god, come on. I need to switch. Come on, I can't freaking get on top of Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow, I hope I don't have to do that again. But there's one more down there. Can we... And this one needs to live there. It's... No, I can't... Whoa. I... I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have? Uh... Wow. Are we gonna walk across that thing? Not now, I don't think. But, yeah. Here's one, two. Ah, a crate. Let's see. I can't... Do I need to move this to another area? Oh, hang on. It opened the door. So... Let's try and switch up this thing. Perfect. And... We got a shadow. Wait, I can't... Come on. Is 
so I can use it to get to there. Uh, oh, I, yeah, yeah, sure, I can focus it. So, I'm supposed to put this one. I need to carry it up, right? There's no... I don't need it down here, so... And I know there was this pressure plate thingy. So, I am betting that's what we need it for. Come on, why is this so wonky? Come on, come on, come on, there we go. No? Really? I can't. There, wow. Oh, um, focus and pull it up. This is so fun. Now, there we go. Can I? Oh no! Don't, don't you, don't you dare! There we go. Now, to do, what to do? Let's go up and s have a look. Have a look, see. Um. No, it's not powered. Damn it. Can I do that? Can I? Uh. There we go. That should help, right? I think so. I'm so smart. SMRT. And I've never said that before. Never. Wow. Um. Am I gonna use the same technique here, or just walk. I can't walk across. I'm... I could perhaps if I moved the lights a bit. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we can do that. Whoa! Whew. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it exciting, guys. <laughs> um... If I move it, then that's going to fall out of the shadow, but... Oh no, it's actually moving, of course it is. So, I'm betting we need to focus. And do this quickly. What? No! Really? How the hell? <laughs> didn't... It didn't... Wow. How? Where? Where is it? Where's the crate? Oh, it's still there! It's... Damn it, it's stuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's, um... That's some physics right there. <laughs> that's funny. It's the first time I've seen a bug. Can I grab it? I should be able to, right? Uh, no, of course I can't grab it. It's a... Uh... <laughs> Are you kidding me? How? Wow. How the hell do I do this? Oh god, I almost, almost went. Can I grab it? I can't. Oh wow. I, I think I'm actually stuck. Because I can't grab it. And... Uh, it's still there. I can't... Wow. That's... I'll have to stay... Go here as far as I can. And not shift it, of course. I'm just so scared I'm gonna be pushed down. And I was. Wow. This... For once, it's not my fault, guys. I can't help if... The physics doesn't work in this game. Right, let's wait for... Uh, for that thing to move. Now. Can I grab it? Please, 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 please. I can't. I'm trying my best. But no. Okay. So, I had to do the whole freaking tower again. Now, let's see. And that's so weird. Come on, come on. I... you would have thought there would be an autosave somewhere. But... we did it. And that's the most important part. Get this elusive crate. Yeah. 
this physics great. <laughs> Right, uh, this is going to be fun. Wow, that was even easier than I had imagined. Oh, um, no, there we go. Okay, now what? Are you coming home? Oh. Didi? Wow. So not nice, Didi. Look at this place. We're high up. And that moon, though, it's huge. Now what? More shadows. After a few days, the princess got to wondering. We've seen this. Why did I keep trying to give her away? Oh, yeah. Are we going to go through everything? It sort of feels like a conclusion to the story. Is that it? Uh oh, that was close. Too close. And I need to jump through there. Right. Wow, not scary at all. And I don't like heights, guys. I hate them. I hate. I hate being on top of a um You think you're gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives while we talk. <laughs> top, on top of a tower, I don't think I ever been so high. You won't get you won't find me in the Eiffel Tower to just so you know. I believe you, Johnny. Your lips are moving. Actually I feel like not talking. This is sort of beautiful going through the story like this. Maybe I'm no good with my family. Maybe I need my family to be good. I mean, it could have been just about any story. Um, it feels like I'm just climbing, climbing. Hang on, I need to jump. I'm going through the story. You're not even a real father. In a beautiful way. Oh, so hey Didi, Johnny, oh, wait a second, um, this is not strange at all, what's that, a huge letter, <laughs> wow, we're, uh, we're on top of the world, now let's light the stage, there, that's the stage. No? Yes it is, but... Oh, there we go. We did it, guys. We did it. Now... Look at that. Let's go meet Didi. And calm the people down. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. Mm -hmm. I got the lights on. We'll talk about this after. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein tells us that our universe may not be the only one. There may be infinite others, each slightly different from ours. Yeah. But our dreams in our world may be reality in those. To citizens of these other worlds, we are shadows. Hang on. Wait a second. This appears to you to be an ordinary box. But it is so actually John, what we call a tesseract. Or an octocoron. Universe? Suppose I open it, not in the three dimensions we live in, but along its fourth dimension. But what about Didi? I can take out surprising things. Things that are familiar and yet strange. <laughs> what is that? It's holding something? But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. Ooh. Ooh. It's just got a big, some big arms. Oh. What you don't know 
can hurt you. Uh oh. That's brutal. What frightens you can also turn into something of surpassing beauty if you only understand it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Wait, those birds look more real than the shadows. They were deeper black. I don't know. I'm not sure about what's reality here or not. And if Dawn is in another universe, is that the reason she's not seeing all of this world? Or what are you up to, Johnny? You're up to something, aren't you? I tried, Kat. I really tried. Mom was right. I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. What is with you? Without you. I'd be in the river. But it worked out, Daddy. I nearly got you hurt, kiddo. You would have saved me if I needed it. Well, he would have tried. <laughs> Enjoy the show? I want you to meet the little girl who turned the lights back on. You made the lighthouse work? I fixed the puppet show, too. And the pirate ship. You fixed the pirate ship? It was only a little broken. See? She's almost as smart as you. Of course, she's brave, too. What's that supposed to mean? That you're rich, famous, and afraid of a little girl. What would you have me do, Mr. Fenris? Take her on my world tour? Take her to Shanghai and Istanbul and those other filthy and dangerous cities as some sort of apprentice? Is, is that what you came here to propose? Daddy, I no! Know. I don't know, just... Dee Dee deserves better. They both deserve better. They need you. I think they need you. Me? I'm a walking calamity. No, Daddy, we you need you. You risked your life to be with them. Johnny, what did you do? He nearly got himself killed to get you back. I wouldn't do that for anybody. But I'm just gonna keep screwing up. I can help you fix things. <laughs> oh. Would you take me back? For good? Oh, Johnny. Yay! Would you like to see my workshop? Again? Yeah. I bet you get to Shanghai on your own steam. But how? Oh, you'll figure something out. After all, you are my daughter. How did you do that? I thought only Dawn could do that. Wait a second. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Thanks for taking care of Didi. I'll see you after the credits. about you.
So, what was that in the end there? I mean, is Didi seeing both universes and is she aware of it? Is, I mean, is she aware that she's seeing shadows? Because she got shocked when we saw his arm. So, she knows she's seeing shadows. But what does that make her? Because we see her and ourselves and no one else. That's um, a brain twister. <laughs> this song is perfect for ending this Let's Play. We end it as we started it on a good note, pun intended. And um, I'm just a bit sad it was so short. But other than that, I've had such a good time. And it's been an innovative game. I hope there will be a second installment. The story was simple, but tugging on my heartstrings. And uh, the jumping was fun <laughs> when it worked. Uh, when my fingers worked, I should say. And uh, the concept of it was just so good. The way you could manipulate shadows in the end there. Amazing. That was such a good idea. I hadn't even thought of that before. It was a gem. And I'm really, really happy I found it. I hope you have enjoyed this as well, both playing it yourself and or watching me play it with you. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching!